What color is this laser beam? The laser is supposed to be monochromatic, yet I see both a bright blue spot and a yellow-greenish, greenish yellow beam. Something is fishy, especially knowing this laser is in fact violet. In this video we'll encounter blinding laser beams and flammable liquids, of which some are said to be drinkable. This color-changing phenomenon is called fluorescence. I explain it in more details in my video Fantastic Fluorescence, but basically some compounds absorb light of one color and release light of another. Like the optical brightness used in this tissue paper to make it appear more white than it is. Or this mixture of alcohol and a common spice I made in my video Spicy Science. The laser is a Blu-ray laser emitting an almost ultraviolet beam, which is very efficient for making things fluoresce. The color is hard to film though. I tried with smoke, but the black lens cap turned out to be the best way to show it. This gave me an idea for this video. I hate the grey, brown, dark colors of the winter, but now it is springtime in Denmark. A lovely season where nature will soon turn green. Green because of the pigment chlorophyll. And chlorophyll should be fluorescent. If I shine the laser on a green leaf, there does seem to be not only violet, but also red emission in the dot to my eyes. With a UV filter on the camera, there's clearly a red dot from the violet laser. If the plant is all on the UV light, the leaves appear deep red. In this case, my eyes were better at picking up the color than the camera. Wish I had a low light camera, but I don't. Let's instead try and extract the chlorophyll using ethanol. And some grass from my lawn. First, I crush the grass in a mortar. Not because it is technically necessary, but it'll speed up the extraction. And I always wanted an excuse for muddling something to smithereens in a mortar. Vikings don't need food processes. Yeah, that's the smell of springtime, freshly mown lawn and a liberal amount of alcohol. This looks like a mess, but after filtration through some filter paper, well, a coffee filter and some patience, I'm left with a beautiful green solution of chlorophyll. Let's shine a laser beam through it. Yes, that is a clear bright red, both to my eyes and the camera. Perfect, except the laser beam doesn't go very deep. Chlorophyll is green because it's very good at absorbing reddish and bluish colors for photosynthesis, but not the greenish colors which pass through. The violet laser is absorbed very well, so I need to thin out the solution. Well, this is getting better. Let's go further. This is what I was looking for. A beam long enough to be reflected. Now I realize I could make a food grade version of this mixture using spinach and extra strong vodka. Spinach has one of the highest concentrations of chlorophyll and tastes slightly better than grass. It would color the vodka a nice fluorescent green, but a crazy mixture and a waste of vodka. Speaking of green crazy mixtures, absinthe comes to mind. This green colored spirit was banned for decades in several countries since fujon in high doses is known to um, mess up your sense of reality. Now it is easily available and the herbs in absinthe can color it green with chlorophyll. It does look very similar to my chlorophyll in alcohol extract. Let's test if this too will fluoresce. No, this is no good. I see no red fluorescence from chlorophyll. Upon closer examination, this seems to be a modern cold mix absinthe colored with chlorophyllin. A group of salts derived from chlorophyll where the magnesium atom is typically replaced with a copper atom making the colorant more stable for storage. 
though direct sunlight is still not recommended for this bottle. By the way, I do not endorse buying or drinking this as is. Not so much because of the low Fujon content, more because of the extra strength with almost 90% ethanol. Craziness. I only bought it because I thought it would fluoresce red. So now I'm disappointed. Maybe you are too. Let me make it up to you by showing a nice display of fluorescence. Enjoy the following clip. Beautiful, right? Click like if you did like it. In an upcoming video I'll show you how to easily do this at home. I will also give a shout out to the one who comments with the best guess at what's in the cylinder. There's nothing exotic in it. You may have most if not all of it already. Thanks for watching. Bye for now and see you in the next one.